Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the UL19 out here at the park pond. Okay, I got a few sets of batteries. Uh, Spectrum Smart batteries, 50 and 100C, and the 7600 150C SMCs. We'll throw those in last. Um, today we're going to be kind of messing around with the boat. Uh, as you guys seen in my last video, I was messing around trying to straighten up my ride surface here on the boat. Uh, gain a little bit of performance. I just run it with this short turn fin on the boat. And uh, she actually ran pretty good. She actually ran really good. I'm actually going to try out a couple turn fins. I got this short one I made, okay? I actually copied the stock turn fin shape. I shortened it up and gave it some more angle, okay? Leading edge angle. I also made a long one, okay? Longer one that we're going to test out. Same shape. A bent one. This one had a bend in it up here. So I actually put it in my vise and bent an angle. We're going to test that out. Just kind of mess around. Not really looking for like perfect running boat while I'm testing these because you have to actually tune them in. It takes time. And uh, if I have enough time, we might throw the curved turn fin on. Okay. So um, stick around. Just going to be messing around with my boat, having some fun. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Full trigger. Oh, nice. Just so you guys know, okay, the turn fins I'm testing today, these are all homemade. This is a mad lizard, okay? The bends I have in my turn fins, there's no specific bend I put in this one. Uh, the shape of them basically stock. So the boat's not going to ride perfect like every run, okay? Uh, just letting you guys know that. You know, I'm doing this for my own satisfaction, my own knowledge. Uh, testing, I'm going to bend the turn fins, I'm going to angle the turn fins, angle them out, see what the boat does. So all this is it's just for my knowledge. I'm not trying to get a perfect ride or anything like that. I'm just playing, okay? I got the short turn fin on. Uh, we're going to do one pass. And then I might do one or two ovals just to see how it hooks in a turn. And then we'll throw on another turn fin. Let's do a couple laps first. So it actually hooks in a turn. Just got to start your turn a little sooner. And it actually slides out. It kind of slides out in the turn a little bit with that short turn fin on. But it hooks. All right. So I'm going to let the waves cool down here. Okay. And uh, we'll get us a pass in. And uh, kind of watch the boat. I've got my strut at 22 millimeters. I had it at 23 millimeters in those clips you just seen. You know, after the intro there. So I've moved it down to 22 millimeters with a flat with a flat position. So much better. I'm gonna do one more pass. Oh, it rides so much better, man. It's got a little bounce when I get on it, but I think that's just my tune. Nice! That's freaking awesome! Nice! Alright. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's put, I'm gonna take this turn fin off. I'll show you all three of them lined up, okay? And, uh, we're gonna put the bent one on while I got these smaller packs in. Alright, so I got all of them laid out here. Okay, this is the Mad Lizard Curved. This is the long turn fin. It's about five or eight millimeters longer than the stock one. Uh, this is my short turn fin I just had on the boat for my speed runs. This one's gonna be for like ovals, okay? And this is the one we're about to put on it. This is the same exact size as the stock turn fin, okay? Uh, I just bent it, all right? Not trying to prove anything. I'm just playing, you know? So uh, this is the one we had on. Let's throw this guy on. Okay, no, 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 this one. Let's do this one off. So this one, it's probably not going to run good, but um, it's going to need some, like, tuning in. 
Uh, what I was thinking, uh, the reason I'm putting this on is um, I might put another bracket on the other side and run two of these. Okay, one on each side and use it as a hydrofoil, an airfoil, to lift the boat so it's only riding on the tips of my turn fin when I'm in a speed run. Less drag in the water and it will actually hook the water and keep the boat in the water at high speeds my thoughts my thoughts again just thinking out loud uh, gonna basically get this bend in line with the setup board i don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna see okay oh this ought to be interesting to say the least um let's see what we get here i didn't check the speed on with that straight turn fin i didn't open it up yeah this is just for my own benefit it seems like it's wanting to hook to the right let's see what it does in a straight damn it actually kind of held that right side down let's see what it does in a turn Okay, so I got it bent too much. Took a little bit of the angle out. This is just a disposable turn fin. Okay, so it's actually hooking a little bit better now. Got a small prop on. Alright, let's finish up the battery in a straight. Got wind on my back. Okay, so now let's put on a different turn fin. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the long, the long turn fin next. Okay, we've seen the short one. We've seen the, the, the bent one. We'll go with the, the long one next. Okay. So 65. 65 with it had to have been with that short one 65 with the 50 c 5000s all right 65 miles an hour you guys see it in there 65 i know we didn't get 65 with that bent turn fin okay so when i put these in i think i'm going to go with the short turn fin again so let's throw the long one on right now okay let's check temps real quick 138 84, 126, 96, motors 107, 106, 82 on the back, 132 on the caps. All right, bottom edge lined up with the setup board. Okay, it's ready to go. All right, uh, this is how I have fun with my boats, you guys. You know, uh, some people are different. Some people just like to run their boats stock, you know, out the box, just kind of uh like the like the boat comes but i'm different you know uh this is how i have fun with the hobby you know this is the hobby to me uh i'm out here just having fun and i figured i'd bring you guys along with me you know uh it, and it's fun to see what the boat does and what it don't do with certain things done to it you know so um long turn fin got you zoomed in so you can see what's going on So it's actually hooking good in a turn, but it's wanting to. Looks like it's wanting to pick up that side. I wonder if I bent it. Oh yeah, I did. Whenever I set my boat down on the on the setup board there, I actually kind of bent it stand because I was trying to polish it up nice. So I'm definitely going to use the short one in a in a in a uh, straight and the long one in a in a turn. So it's actually this this one this one right here is actually picking the sponson up. 
the right sponson, the sponson that the turn fin's on. So I'm actually, I'm gonna angle it in a little bit. I'm learning here, I'm learning. So it's a long disposable turn fin. So I've actually angled it, the front leading edge in toward the, the center of the boat and the outside leading edge is angled out. Okay, so let's see how that does. That should pull that sponson down a little bit so it hooks, I would think. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Okay, but when it when it curved like with it with it angled like that in, it's actually throwing the boat off in a straight and it's wanting to like veer. So Okay, okay, okay. So I'm learning, I'm learning, you guys, I'm learning, man. You know, this is what it takes for me to learn is just to freaking think of something and do it. All right, so let's put the the curved one on real quick. All right, all right. So I got the bend in line with my setup board. All right, everything's sitting flat and I got the bend on the setup board. Let's see how it does. I apologize if I had you guys zoomed in too much. So much better with this curved turn fin. So much better. Okay, so let's go this way. Yeah, you see that? Picking it up. But like a little short oval like this, it's boss. See how good it hooks? Look at the spray coming off of it. It's like it's on freaking rails. You know? All right, so let's take the turn fin off. Let's put the big batteries in, okay? Yeah, that last little adjustment I made, I was actually picking it up. So, uh, you know, um, it just takes time getting one of these things tuned in. And I may need to angle the bracket a little bit. I don't know. That's why I was messing around with this bent turn fin. And uh, seeing what the boat does with different angles and how it affects the ride of the boat. Like I said, I'm just playing and learning. Okay, so I'm going to put these guys here in. Let's go ahead and take the turn fin off. Okay. All right, so the temp, ESC temperature, 102, 134, 118, 115, 111, wires, 136, 124 on the motor, 110, 101. All right, so everything's within operating range. No turn fin, no turn fin at all, okay? Uh, with the big batteries in. All right. Make sure I got steering, I do. <laughs> oh, not much. Holy cow. Wow, it's amazing how much a turn fin helps. Holy moly, we'll do a lap, or I'll try to do a lap. No turn fin. Wow. Yeah, she just slides. She don't turn. She just slides. The ass end just slides. Yeah, you guys see that? It's, I got full, full turn. Full turn. Full turn. It's not turning. <laughs> the ass end of it slides out and it don't turn. You guys see it? Full turn. <laughs> I was feathering the throttle. Wow, that's a big difference. All right, so let's do a straight real quick. Man, that's crazy. It don't turn at all without a turn fin. I've never run any, uh, any of my hydros without a turn fin. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. 
All right, so let's. Uh, I gotta. I gotta stop early because I can't turn. <laughs> so. Oh, that was crazy. turn fin boys run a turn fin <laughs> oh don't take the turn fin off <laughs> all right let's see what the speed was i got my, my rudder kicked up on the bank there <laughs> oh that was crazy that was crazy all right 62 okay i couldn't really open it up <laughs> i was scared i was gonna crash so i'm gonna throw the short one back on real quick all right <laughs> okay 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 no damage to the boat yeah definitely uh i think i kind of like this short turn fin especially for straights man i'm having a good time out here I, i've literally i've been out here for about an hour and a half you guys just running this boat right here it's fun I, I, i've actually enjoyed this a uh, little outing with my boat you know Man, that blueprint helps. That blueprint helped. Big time. Light blueprint. Just kind of cleaning up the surface down there. It helped a lot. That's into the wind right there. That's into the wind. It's not lifting up. Once I get it tuned right, we'll take it to the speed run spot. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, you guys, um, I just had some fun, you know, with the turn fence. Uh, the speed was 67, okay? The battery, 385. And, um, yeah, man, I, you know, I kind of actually learned quite a bit. You know, I learned quite a bit. Uh, I, I kind of know which way to go. I think the boat was running better. It wasn't bouncing on this sponsor right here quite as bad. Still got a low spot right there. All that blue right there is low. So we're going to fill it in here shortly, okay? Uh, trying to get the boat right so I can do some legitimate speed runs. Try to get some legitimate numbers at the speed run spot. Uh, we'll basically be running this boat here at the park pond until I get everything tuned in and right. You know, uh, this boat right here, it's low profile at the speed run spot. It's got to be a beautiful day slick them up you know so uh the next video will have uh the, the rigger i was gonna do uh my single turn fin double turn fin no turn fin on the rigger but i'm kind of turn finned out so um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something sorry for it's probably a freaking long video i can't make a short video uh like comment subscribe ring the bell to get notified for future bills big b we're not glad i see if your guys are still here you're freaking awesome boat gang for life <laughs>